All right, so Ron Mathodex here, and today I'm going to derive the equations for my um, magnetic amplifier, the voltage equation. This equation is going to be different because it counts in almost literally everything. All right, so let's begin with Faraday's law. The divergence of uh, the electric field is equal to the partial, the negative of the partial derivative of the magnetic field versus time. So we can change this term um, from this so we can use circulation over curl, uh, circulation over area. So um, we got voltage, or let's say, um, let's see, let's call this EMF of T is equal to the partial derivative B um, times area. So next, what uh, we'll plot B as a function. So it's negative d dt um, B sine of the rotation omega t times the area, not dot, not dot product, just the area, equals EMF. So in the magnetic amplifier, the distance of the magnet matters, so therefore we must account in the distance of the field, which we can easily use the inverse square law to do so. All right, so, so after that, we have, we can write this in terms of partial derivative of B, actually not what the vector hat is a B, um, sine omega T over X minus X dash actually absolute value squared times area. So as we see, um, like in a coil, for example, if this these lines are this set, uh, this a coil, this coil over here, you can see as every line as every wire loop progresses, the distance increases. So let's denote the thickness to be tau tau sub h, sorry, um, and then we'll times i, the number of, sorry, we note i as the number of turns there are, so therefore when we sum all these over, Sigma I equals one number of turns there are partial derivative of B sine omega T over X minus X dash squared all of that in partial derivative. Oh actually sorry minus tau plus tau i tau times i squared all that times the area now that's just for one dimension so yep. that is only one for one dimension so if we were to make a two dimensional one which the area will increase every time the the um Every time this, every time the loop increases. All right, so every time the area increases, the field is right here, so it will increase, 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 increase. All right, so we can write this as two sigmas, of course. Um, sigma of 
number of the layers of the coils. I start as one as usual, um, and then all of that sigma n i equals actually n over layers. Well, we'll use this L thing as the layers, of course. D D T. Oh, actually, I forgot one thing. It should be negative sine in front of this. B sine mega t over x minus x dash plus tau i. All right, all of that times. Um, let's say. Tau times i plus scroot of the area. Well, this is um the this is a the coil I'm using has a rectangular is a square coil so a, a cubical a square shaped coil size so it doesn't have to be like. It doesn't have to be like 2 pi r, but we can. We don't need to write that right now because we're doing this for use only. We all that in brackets, and there we go. There's the equation for the EMF. All that. All right. Let's move on to the next equation in the next episode. Stay tuned, guys. We're gonna be covering that soon. Bye.